What's up guys? My name is Mark and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new SimMod Variable Neutral Density Filter. Now while it may be true that variable ND filters aren't nearly as exciting as cameras or lenses, they are an important addition to your camera bag, especially if you're shooting video outside with fast lenses and you want to be able to maintain that shallow depth of field. They give you more control over your camera settings and that gives you more control over your creative vision. And this variable ND filter has a lot going for it. This filter is a 77 millimeter diameter thread and gives a neutral density level of 0.4 to 1.8, which is 1.3 to six stops. You can see the markings on the side here, which give you the minimum to maximum ND filtration strengths. There's also this handy lever that you can use to modify the ND strength. And it comes with this super cool genuine leather carrying case. I've been using this filter pretty extensively the past month to mount both my modern lenses as well as my vintage lenses using these 77 millimeter lens hoods. As convenient as it is shooting with variable ND filters, it's really important to me that these filters don't compromise the image quality. So how does this one stack up? First, let me get technical. The glass elements themselves are German made from Scott Glass, a company owned by Carl Zeiss. The filter is multi-coated and anti-reflective to prevent internal ghosting and reflections. It's also anti-scratch and has a water resistant coating. Now that all sounds great and all, but let me show you how all this impacts the image quality. The first shot is taken without a variable ND filter, and we're going to use this one as the basis of comparison. With the filter mounted, and as we cycle through the various ND settings, the images remain sharp with little to no loss of image quality. Now this is really important, especially if you've paid good money for quality lenses. Next up, let's take a look at the color shifting, which depending on the variable ND filters you're using may have an impact on the images. On the vector scope here, the white concentration in the middle will move further out of the circle towards the hue that's in the frame. And cycling through the different ND strengths, we wanna see that direction move as little as possible. And you can see here on the scope, it doesn't really move all that much, having a minimal impact on the images. But personally, I'm really happy with the image quality this SimMod Variable ND filter provides, but there are a few particular things about this filter that I'm finding really useful. Like this little lever here, that allows the filter to be rotated freely greatly reducing the risk of getting a finger in the shot or accidentally touching the end of the filter with your fingers. Now one thing in particular I really love about this little lever here is that when I'm out shooting like this and supporting the barrel, as I ride my focus and need to change my variable ND settings, I can simply just extend my finger, feel the lever, and change the settings without breaking away from the shot. It's really convenient. Now another great thing about this variable ND filter is this outer locking ring. Now this is convenient for two reasons. The first, it allows me to rotate the filter and select the desired polarization before locking the filter into place on the lens. Now most variable ND filters screw onto the lens without any consideration for polarization. It would hit one polarity and stay wherever it had locked into place. With the outer locking ring, I have control over where the default polarization of the filter is set. The second thing this outer locking ring allows me to do is align the ND markers where I like around the lens. 
so I can see precisely and easily how much neutral density I'm applying. On variable ND filters without a separate locking mechanism, the numbers can end up at the bottom of the lens, making them harder to see. Adding to the level of precision are the min and max hard stops that are on the filter. Now this ensures that you don't accidentally get that dreaded X pattern notoriously found on variable NDs whenever you over-rotate. Now it is the little things like this that make this filter a joy to use. SimMod has two filter sizes for their variable NDs. The 77mm is priced at $125, and the 82mm is priced at $150. I've been using variable ND filters for years, and I can honestly say that this one is by far my absolute favorite. The image quality it renders is fantastic and uncompromised, and you can tell the functional details of the filter are keeping the photographer in mind in terms of convenience and it's priced in a way that won't break the bank, making it more accessible. And I love this genuine leather carrying case that it comes with, keeping the filter safe as it travels in and out, and on and off and back into my camera bag 100 million times. 100 million one times. Now I did reach out to SimMod to see if he would be interested in partnering up and doing a giveaway for one of his filters, and that was met with a resounding yes. So if you're interested in entering for a chance to win a variable ND filter, check out the link in the description below to enter. Leave a comment as to what filter size you prefer, either the 77mm or 82mm. So with that, thank you so very much for watching, and good luck to everybody who enters for a chance to win one of these filters. We'll see you guys next time. Ooh, sunglasses time. Oh. That's a wrap.